up my dudes, Valk here, and today I am coming to you with a very rare video where we're going to basically be doing everything live because I'm going to showcase this to you guys live because I actually was really surprised by how good the new realm is. I mean, everyone, like, I know everyone's kind of pooping on 2.2. I'll give my thoughts on 2.2 as a whole uh, in a different video, but, um... Basically, the realm that you get at level 40 with the sacred tree, it's really, really nice. I I don't gush that often over just, like, pure visuals, but this thing, I still have to work on it. I have one area done to where I'm happy with it, um, which is the main area. You can see I have Raiden Shogun looking off in the distance. I have all these trees. I have the house. I haven't done the house yet. I've been, like, taking my time building this. it, it got to be in a mood for it, right? But you can see just how beautiful this realm is. I know well, I don't know why it's running kind of choppy right now, but um, this realm is gorgeous. Like, look at this. Okay, there it goes. Now it's going to run good. Uh, this realm is super gorgeous. This realm is beautiful. Uh, you guys can see everything, and as you walk through it, Time to go. each island like feels kind of like its own thing. feels really unique. I made the little pathway so you can get out and turn around and be like, wow. And those floating islands, like those little floating things like she's standing on right now, you can actually like put them up to max and put your house on it so you create the spawn in the air and you have no way of getting back to the spawn. I was playing with that. I might showcase it later in like the fast forward section. But yeah, um, here I'm probably going to be fast forwarding, but I'm going to be talking anyways. So this is probably like the most beautiful thing I've seen in this game. This has to be one of the prettiest sites I've seen in this game because this realm is gigantic. This realm is absolutely huge. Um, you guys can see I have a lot of work to do, I have a lot of space to work on, I have a lot of everything, and I am just over top ecstatic about this entire little area. So, with that being said, I'm gonna get to the space where you guys can see more of it, so you guys can thank you. Look at the water, dude. Oh my god. Everything is so stylized. I wanna get in the water real quick as well. Swim in this really fast. Look at this water. This is so cool. This is so cool. Um, but you guys get the idea. Basically, this land... Uh, this area is probably like the coolest thing that I've seen in like adding the game for quite a while. There's lots of areas you can build on, there's lots of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys now about the elevated stuff I was talking about earlier. How you can um how you can basically place your main building on top of the landforms. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go here. You wanna make sure you have lots of very big spaces. You're gonna make them go all the way up. The way to ensure that you go all the way up is you zoom out and then you keep going up until you cannot go up anymore. Now the only way I go is down. So now that we have one there, we are going to go ahead and place it, and then we're going to put another one, and we're going to go all the way up again. We're going to move this over, we're going to place it, and we're going to make them touch, and we're going to do a massive repeat. The music's so nice in this uh, little landscape, too. The music's so nice in the house. I absolutely, I adore everything about this area. This area is just beautiful. All right, so now you can see I have the house in that area. If I leave the teapot like this, I just go and leave the teapot since I put the house up there. And like I said earlier, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with these floating islands. Now, one of the best things of 2.2, this whole like area is one of the best things of 2.2. The only thing that sucks is getting to level 40 to actually unlock it on the Sakura tree. Guys, you have to find basically all the chests. And if you find all the chests, then you get access to stuff like this. So now you'll notice whenever I drop down, the only real way back up is over here. But you can see it floats way above the land. And because it floats, I can do stuff like, I don't know. If I go to the trees, I can just start putting trees down here and then put that over it. See, like you can see I put trees below it. All these trees below it and I can kind of do whatever I want. Let's put a tree here, a tree here. Then we leave, we save changes and we take a look up and look. You can also do this trick to make caves. You can do all sorts of stuff. But yeah, basically that's the video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I got a lot of work to do with this teapot. I'm going to be doing a lot of work to try to make it as good as I want. But this is like, this, this place is beautiful. Anyways, thank you guys for watching as always. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.